All right, hey everybody, this is Professor Klein back in the Human Anatomy Labs at Ohio University. And today I wanna to bring you the scapular movements. All right, with the scapular movements, I've got the scapula on the actual skeleton here, which we know some bony landmarks to be the acromion, the coracoid process, and most importantly today, the inferior angle, this part down here. Now I've made those, or I've taped those here as the black as the inferior angle, the yellow as the acromion process coming off the spine of the scapula, and then up here would be the coracoid process. Check out my other video on all of the scapula anatomy if you want more information. But when we're talking about the movement of the scapula, it's a little bit different than normal movement because there's a joint formed here called the scapulothoracic joint. Scapulothoracic. It's not technically a real joint because the scapula just sits on top of the rib cage, but it is a joint right there. So that's the joint we're gonna be working with as well as over here, we do have the glenohumeral joint, but the scapula stands by itself with six different movements. Here they are. Number one, scapular elevation. This is like shrugging your shoulders, shrugging your shoulders when you elevate your scapula. The opposite of scapular elevation, scapular depression. So you can elevate and depress your scapula straight up, straight down. Additionally, you can do something called retraction. Retraction is when you take the scapula, and this is the medial border of the scapula, another important bony landmark, the medial border, and you travel medially close to that vertebral column that is retraction. The opposite of retraction is protraction. That would be taking the scapula anteriorly. Going from here, anterior. And the humerus is a little bit in the way here, but it can often tuck up and underneath the humerus and travel anteriorly. All right, that's four out of six. The last two are rotation. So imagine this being able to rotate. Now, how would you look at it? That's where you wanna look at the inferior angle. Whatever the inferior angle does is the type of rotation. Now, if that inferior angle travels medially like this, that's what we call downward rotation, downward rotation. It's also called medial rotation, but downward rotation is more common. And if you go the other way with the inferior angle, watch that black part travel laterally. This is called upward rotation. Upward rotation or lateral rotation, but upward is more common. Those are the two different types of rotation. And you might be asking yourself, is there more? Nope. We've got elevation, depression, Retraction, protraction, downward rotation, and upward rotation. All right, and this has been your YouTube video on scapular movements. Thanks for watching.